Hello and welcome to another pen video for me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review. And as you can see, this is a Mr. Cypress pen. So it says Mr. Cypress, excellent handmade fountain pens from Mr. Cypress, Taiwan. Now, um, I've ordered a few pens from Mr. Cypress now, uh, three uh, exactly uh, at this moment in time. And each one has arrived within about six working days to the UK. No import charge to pay. You do pay for the FedEx shipping, which is about 39 US dollars, uh, but uh, I've not yet had to uh, pay any import duty. So I think let's uh, unbox uh, the outer box here of the pen, which is a cardboard box. Uh, you have this styrofoam here, uh, and then you have a, a warranty here. Each of the pens are warranted for a year, and then you have this inner box, very well packaged, I have to say. And uh, you also have this sleeve here, which is holding the lid on. And I'll show you why. If I remove that, uh, this box here is uh, a magnetic lid box. So if I remove that lid, you'll see that it has four magnets in the corners. And likewise, four magnets here on the corners. So uh, that will magnet together. You also get a cypress uh, card as well uh, the actual name is joyful wood culture and creative co limited uh, quite uh, an interesting uh, name there now sometimes they do give you gifts and uh, i think my first mr cypress pen i ordered i got a pack of tomoe river um, they always seem to give you a, a tote bag uh, with mr cypress on it which is uh, always a nice touch uh, my first pen, I got a single pen kimono and a pack of B6, or no, B5 Tomoe River paper. I didn't get a Tomoe River paper with this one because I ordered two pens at once. Uh, but what I did get was a uh, three pen lovely silk kimono. So um, the idea of ordering two pens at once was that I would save uh, the additional 39 uh us dollars for shipping and if i split that 39 us dollars between two pens it's half so it, it's around about sort of um 20 just under 20 us dollars per pen uh so that was the reason why but one thing you should uh know is that you do not get uh, a second box with it uh so if you are ordering two pens at once it's gonna both pens are going to arrive in the single box. But let's now remove the pen from this lovely velvet case. And this is the pen. So this is a beautiful Arushi Makie. Um, This one is actually called uh, the uh, Mr. Cypress. And it's called the Maple in the Forest. Uh, beautiful, beautiful pen. And if I just show you up close here, you can see... Uh, it's got this lovely gold dust here on the cap finial. But the detail on these leaves are quite amazing. Plus, you also have all these specks in the blackness of the pen as well. Now, the whole of the pen is quite textured. Um, it almost feels like you're, I don't want to say running your fingers over paper. It's more textured than that. It's almost like fine micro mesh. Um, you can feel the texture here. Um, it's actually, it's so it's, although it's Yerushi lacquered, um, you still have texture. So it's a little bit of a pronounced feel to it. But you can see here, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Um, so you've got the cap finial there and then the uh, end cap there. Just goes to a conical point. Uh, very, very nice pen. Uh, if I unscrew the cap, uh, you'll see there it has a Cypress 14 cat gold nib. Look at the section on that. Very, very sparkly. Now, I decided that I would go for a 14 cat gold nib uh, just to save a little bit on money. The, the pens uh, do come with steel nibs. You can upgrade them. Uh, if you want a Bok or Yovo 18 cat gold nib, you're looking about 180 US dollars, which is actually not bad. Um, 
if you wanted to go for a Mr. Cypress 18 karat gold in house nib, instead of 180 US dollars, it's 120 US dollars. But if you decide to go for a 14 karat gold Mr. Cypress nib, that reduces to 80 US dollars. So I decided that I would actually just get a 14 karat gold nib on this pen. Uh, you can see in the size of my hand, this is actually quite a decent size. Uh, you can uh, see there's also an ABS plastic feed there. Now, what I will do is I'm going to show you here. Uh, there's not a lot of ink left in this pen, but I'm going to show you um, when you buy the nibs um, or buy the pens, you can actually buy it with a Bok or Yovo housing. So although this is a Mr. Cypress nib, uh, you can actually uh, choose a Bok housing so that if you think you're going to want to put a Bok 18 karat gold nib in it in future, uh, buy it as a Bok nib unit with a Mr. Cypress nib, and then you can actually unscrew it and put a Bok nib in. So I'm just going to remove that uh, converter. I'm just going to grasp that just to unscrew the nib, just so I can show you here, so I don't get ink all over my fingers. It's just an a Bok uh, housing here. So you, you can actually unscrew that, uh, and uh, it's actually quite nice. So if you if you wanted to say swap nibs later on, what I would suggest before you ink it up, just unscrew it and just make sure it's not screwed tight because the nibs were a little bit tight when uh, they arrived in my pens. Uh, and you do get sometimes get ink down between the nib unit and the section on most pens, uh, and that can act a little bit like a glue. So just make sure you can unscrew it if you think you might want to change nibs later on. Uh, but this is actually a really nice size. Uh, can you post the cap? You can't. It's not really designed to do so. But I think the size of this pen is actually quite a nice size in my hand. And I, I really do like uh, the maple leaves here. Absolutely stunning, stunning pen. So for me, this really was uh, a, a good buy. Um, now, I think with that, let's do a size check. We'll do a weight check. We'll do a pen comparison. And then we'll do a writing sample. So uh, the length of the pen here, we're looking about 150 millimeters in length. The length of the cap is about 65 millimeters in length. And uh, if I unscrew the cap here and we'll check the length of the body, we are looking at about 132 millimeters in length. So that's actually quite a uh, decent length. I think let's now do a weight check. And as you saw, there really wasn't a lot of ink uh, in that converter. Uh, I have already inked it up. So the full weight of the pen, we are looking at just over 27 grams in weight. Uh, the weight of the cap, we are looking at just over seven and a half grams in weight. And then the weight of the body, we are looking at just under 20 grams in weight. So that's actually uh, not a bad weight of pen. But this pattern really is beautiful. Uh, I was lucky to, to get the last one of this. And so uh, unfortunately, Mr. Cypress don't have any more of these at, at the moment. Uh, I would say that I've not seen them restock some of the earlier pens. So I think normally there's between three and five of these at any one time and once they're sold out they're sold out so i'm not sure that this one in this exact pattern is going to come back uh but i really love it i'm glad that i was able to add it to my collection so if you see a pen on mr cypress and you want it do not wait around for somebody else to buy it because if there's only one or two in stock they're going to sell and then you're not going to get it so unfortunately a little bit of fomo there but uh um this uh i think is worth it for sure so I think with that, let's do a comparison with other pens. So from left to right, we have an Anoto Sterling Silver Platinum Jubilee, an Anoto Sterling Silver Coronation pen. We have a Tatcha Miami Winter's Breath, a Tatcha Miami Empress Winter's Breath. We have the uh, Mr. Cypress, and this is uh, the exact name is called Maple in the Forest. Uh, we have 
a Mr. Cypress Eggshell number six, a Tweeko Seishu uh, Dragon in green, a Tweeko Seishu Dragon in red. We have another Mr. Cypress, and this is the Eggshell 01. And then we have an Anoto Magna Classic, and this is the Christmas Carol. So I think let's now go and do a writing sample. So this is a Mr. Cypress and it is uh, called Maple in the Forest. I like to call this a maple leaf. But for this review, we'll call it Maple in the Forest. Uh, and it is a uh, medium and it's a 14 carat gold uh, Mr. Cypress nib in a box housing. Uh, the ink in here today is a uh, Herban and it's a uh, Ambre de Bermany. Now, uh, the Mr. Cypress nibs typically do write a little bit dry, I would say, so you might want to floss the nibs a little bit. Um, in terms of uh, line variation, I'm definitely seeing a western medium. If I push it a little bit more, I can get more towards a broad. Um, I wouldn't want to push it much more than that. And if I do some more vertical lines, you can see there are no hard starts or skips there. So it's a pretty well-tuned nib. Uh, in terms of ink wetness, now I do find Amber de Bermany quite dry. Uh, but then again, I also find the Mr. Cypress nibs quite dry as well. So uh, you can see that it's not a fire hose nib. Um, it's it's wet enough, but it's also dry enough that you can probably turn the page uh, in your notebook without um, really having to wait an age for, for it to dry the ink. What do I like? What do I dislike about the pen? Well, there's nothing I dislike. Uh, in terms of uh, likes, I... I would say that um, th this came in around about 800 US dollars with a 14 carat gold nib. Uh, that in itself is actually not a bad price considering it's an ebonite pen. It's uh, a Rushi lacquered. Uh, you've got all of this Mackie on there as well. Uh, I think it's actually not a bad price. If you considered a Nakaya, uh, you're going to be for say an Akatamanuri, you're going to be paying about the same price. So, uh, and and if you were to, to buy a Nakaya or a, uh, let's say a Namiki, uh, with all of this Mackie work on, you're probably going to be paying two to three times that amount. So I, I think uh, the, the pro in this is that uh, the, the price is actually pretty good. Um, you can get it with a steel nib if you don't want to pay maybe 800 US dollars. Uh, however, I did upgrade to the 14 karat gold nib, which was only an additional 80 US dollars. You pay 39 US dollars for shipping with FedEx, uh, but uh, I, I think it's worth it. I didn't pay any import tax uh, coming into the UK with this, um, it, so so that was also a bonus as well. Uh, I like the size of the pen. I like the weight. Uh, it's a light weight pen, uh, not like some of the sterling silver pens I have. I do like Mackie, I do like Arushi, um, and what can I say? It, it's actually a really, really nice uh, pen. So I'm glad that I bought it. I'm glad that I added this to my collection. So there you have it. That's my Mr. Cypress Maple in the Forest with a medium 14 karat gold nib. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next pen video. Bye-bye.